What's up, YouTube? Uh, I don't know if a lot of you know it or not, but I like to work on things. I like to fix um, phones and tablets and laptops and TVs and washing machines and dryers and cars and whatever you can think of. But um, I've been doing cellular repair for a while. As you can see I got a hot plate and I got a cool little machine that, that uh, has wire and things like that that, you know, make it easy to separate the LCD from the digitizer. But... I've always had to do it by hand in the past and then I got this machine and it's great but it, it doesn't work for curved screens well my wife just got the Galaxy S8 Plus and she well she didn't my kids as usual broke the screen so I was like god no how am I gonna do this because it's so complicated with a curved screen and um, anyhow I got online and I found a machine by a company named Novacell it's a, uh, I think it's a, here, it's a, uh, I'll give you the information off of it. But basically, it's an F07, um, or I'm sorry, F70, I think is what it is, machine. And what it does is uh, you have liquid nitrogen, as I have here. I don't know if you can see it or not. If you see it down in the bottom down there. I have liquid nitrogen in a door. It comes with a door. And you have a hose here, uh, connect, uh, you have two hoses that come out of the back and they go to this little suction device. And the suction device goes into the liquid nitrogen tank and inside here you have a built-in vacuum pump. And by the way, I bought this on eBay and it didn't come with a silencer, so I bought a silencer. I think it was just a half inch thread silencer for people out there who are missing one. And it didn't have a lid with it, so I, I ghettoed up a lid, I call it. This is styrofoam, and the glue tried to eat the foam, but, I mean, it's all good. It's still in there. And this is weather stripping, you know, but, and this is a cabinet door. And this was actually a, this was actually an old microwave. So I tore it apart, and you just lay it on here. But anyways, what you do is you take your assembly, and I'm hoping this is far enough with this one that I don't actually have to try to go any further. Um... I've never done this before. I'm gonna do it on camera for the first time. But you take your assembly and you lay it down like that. And you cover it up like that. And this thing's pulling a vacuum and it's pulling liquid nitrogen through. There's a thermostat. And you set it to your desired temperature, such as I think this one's supposed to be negative 145 degrees Celsius. Different devices. Matter of fact, I think I wrote it down over here. Let me see. Um, an iPhone, I think they recommend around 120 degrees for 40 seconds or so. Um, and the Edge phone's about 140. And I wrote Novacell last night and actually got a response back. And they told me uh, you can use negative 140 to negative 145 for three minutes. And this is an F07, by the way, model. Um, but So that's what I'm going to do. For the first time ever, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to crank it up. And God, I hope it works because I've already spent $55 on liquid nitrogen. I think it was 5 liters that I bought. But anyways, I'm going to try it out and I'm going to let you see how it works and see if this is something you guys could, you know, use for yourself. It's about a $650 machine, I think. I got it for $320. Um, so not too bad. But um, in case you want to see the back of the connections here, it's got a uh, LN2 that comes out and it circles around and it goes back to the other nutted connection here and then you got a pressure line that circles around and it just simply presses into this compression fitting with of course your silencer and the way that I've seen the videos you basically just turn this on or you turn this on first and then you turn this on and you when you apply when you put this into the tank you you put it in and you hold this part and you turn this part so until it gets you know kind of tight and that's it and i think they said this will last up to 65 phones or something you can fix with this so but yeah here it is so let me uh see if i can mount this gopro on my head and hopefully you'll get a good enough view and we're going to see how well it works and see if my wife is going to kill me or not by the way this is the s8 plus and you see you have to take out a thousand pieces that are glued down it's a nightmare and don't do like i didn't forget to take your sim card out 
that was a disaster too uh, I'm bad about forgetting that you definitely on iPhones a lot of times you don't have to but on this phone you have to take it out so make sure you do that but uh, alright be back in a minute uh, I hope this thing is recording I have no way of knowing let me look in a reflection here and make sure yeah alright we're good all right, here we go. I've got the lid in, or the top in. You hear it hissing like crazy, which is kind of nerve-wracking because I don't like things under pressure, but I'm assuming this little valve here will blow off if it has to. But All right, we're going to take our plug, and we're going to plug it in. I do this at my work, too, by the way. Oh, and another item you're probably going to want to have, you're definitely going to want to have, you're going to have to use loco glue. Um, you're going to want to get a UV thing for your fingernails, and this tray pulls out. They're cheap on eBay. So uh, just get that. And also a word of advice they give is on your device, uh, heat it up, and put you a little cut or somewhere in there, that makes it easier for you to feed like a playing card or something like that up under it after you get it done so but anyways here we go i hear something make sure that's turned on yes that is on we're set at negative 140 I'll say that's probably good and I hear that it takes about 12 to 15 minutes to reach the desired temperature so we'll see how how that works also it's at 18.3 and 18.2 it ain't gonna take long <laughs> but you see my my hose here is smoking I guess that's okay oh another word of advice that I, I watched several videos on this don't move the hose after everything's connected leave it all alone because it can bust it's a plastic hose it gets very brittle with that liquid nitrogen running through it and you definitely don't want it to bust so um yeah just uh just be careful with it but you can see the temperature's dropping really fast that's crazy actually I'm excited about this. I really am. This thing... I had to convince my wife to let me get this, so... Um, also... You're going to want to have... This is another doer I have. I think I'm going to pour my nitrogen in it after I'm finished because I think it's a lot better, uh... You know, insulated. I don't want to lose my nitrogen, but... If I do, I do. But Either way, you're going to want a couple of uh, spudgers... How about this one at Walmart? And this one comes with it. I think I'm probably going to go with this one since it's obviously a lot more thin than that one. I didn't know what I was getting. And you're going to want some gloves. You definitely want to wear your gloves. So, um, Anyhow, i uh, going to let this thing cool down. You can see the temperature is steady dropping. We're about to hit zero degrees Celsius. And... Um, I'm already in the negatives. Wow, this is crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get off and I'll uh, come back as soon as this thing is uh is cooled off. All right, guys, we're down to 127 degrees, and negative 127, and I am nervous as crap. Look at that thing smoking. But I'm so nervous that I'm gonna screw this up and my wife is gonna kill me. Ooh, I'm nervous. Oh, and by the way, I watched a couple other videos. People are using playing cards. I may use that if I can get one in there. I feel better using a playing card than a scraper. Uh, we'll just have to see. But um, <laughs> that thing says alarm. I guess it's like, holy crap, this is cold. And if you ever want to build your own, I, I asked around, I looked at every picture I could and couldn't find it anywhere, but this is an REX-C100 by a company named Burme, I guess B-E-R-M-E. -E. Listen to that. Oh Lord, y'all. All right, it's hitting its temperature. 
Negative 140. So here goes. I think, I think you want to scrape your plate off. I would have thought there would have been more ice on there than that. But we're going to lay this thing down. And we're going to start a timer. Oh no, I can't do it. These gloves. It's cold, y'all. It is cold. I hope that screen don't stick to that. I've seen other videos where they use some type of plates. And I've got some. These right here. But. Man. I don't have one for that phone. This is so weird. So I guess it's just controlling a... Um, that sound was <laughs> I hope it was the machine and not the phone <laughs> but um anyhow I get it's it, I guess it just controls the pump so right now we're not pumping any liquid nitrogen anymore we're just holding what we have negative 146 degrees Celsius it's cold I hope that phone comes off that plate. We'll see. I forget that the GoPro has a wide view. Like, you can probably see my hand still. I'm thinking I have to turn this thing and adjust it, and you don't. There goes more of my $50 nitrogen. And then if this works, I get to do my phone. I've got the S6 Edge Plus, but I've got a nice little plate for it. He says three minutes. We've got one minute left. Oh my God. Got a minute left and we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it with this right here. With just a playing card. If I can even remember where I made the slit. That's what's so bad about it. On the S6 Edge Plus, you can make a slit right at the bottom. And it's a noticeable slit with this one. Man, they glued this sucker tight, too. Wow. I mean, it was glued tight. We got 28 seconds left. He said go for three minutes. That's what I'm going to do. It ain't going to take long for it to cool back down. Three, two, one. All right, here goes, guys. There's this corner right here where I did it at. Oh, man, this is cold. Well, the glass does just flake off. That's for sure. Get out of my way so you can see. I mean, the glass is just coming off of there. But I'm afraid these playing cards just are not hard enough to get down where they need to get to. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Not working. Yeah. We're gonna try it with this. Guys, I'm afraid. Unless that's just ice. No, it's just glass. I am so nervous right now, y'all. I know you can see it. 
this is definitely not working like I was thinking though I mean yeah it's coming off don't get me wrong but if you think you're gonna fit a playing card up under there you got another thing coming here we go here we go here we go guys look at that wow that is insane I have done so many repairs and that is the hardest job but I'm gonna be honest with you I think it broke the LCD I think I see cracks right there unless that's just ice we gotta let this thing thaw though but I can turn it off for now done all I can do I hope that's just ice and it could just be local glue but I don't know we'll, we'll see I'm a little nervous about that time will tell be back in a minute all right youtube i guess i'll just end this video i like to talk in private and somebody else is showing up at work but um so i can't really finish it like i was going to do i was going to do the uv glue and everything that i've never done on camera but i did want to show you that the lcd is in great shape so i'm going to glue that glass back down and stick her back together and I'll come back with a video showing that it's working and that's going to be about the end of this video but I just was more so wanting to show you this machine and it's definitely worth the money definitely all right see you in a little bit when I'm finished well guys I guess I lied my wife needed her phone so I took it to her um it turned out great except for a uh, little blue tint uh, above the proximity sensor uh, it kind of came off with some of the denatured alcohol I was using and um, I'm not sure why that happened. But um, so it's kind of clear right there now. So you see the little gold piece up underneath it, but we don't care about that. And the other thing was um, uh, right there at the bottom right, not corner, but like, I don't know, maybe not even a quarter of the way up on the right side, uh, some of the local glue, I could just couldn't get it to go in there. And that's my first time ever using it. So anyways, a little tiny spot about like that and uh it just you know whatever reason it just wasn't there i mean it doesn't even look bad at all but anyhow the phone worked great and uh the machine worked great and uh, i plan to do mine tomorrow probably i've got the s6 edge plus maybe i'll go through and and do a video on the teardown or something i'm not sure um see i have to watch videos i mean i, I can do it but i feel more comfortable watching videos myself on youtube and then I like to draw out on a piece of paper, you know, like the phone, or in this situation today, I actually printed the phone out and put it on a piece of paper and I laid the screws exactly where they went. Um, so that's just how I like to do things. So that's what makes it kind of hard to do a, a, a repair video, like on iPhones and stuff. I could do that any day of the week, but these Samsungs just aren't that popular. Well, not that they're not popular. They don't tear up as much as iPhones. I'll just say that. But um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, the machine's definitely worth the money if you want it. Um, I would uh, recommend getting one. Pretty good uh, quality, it seems to be. And uh, But yeah, made the job a lot easier. All right, thanks.